All right, we're back. And once again, I don't even need to say it, do I? Hey, thanks. The officer's face lights up. He takes a sip. He seems pretty trusting for an officer of the law. You know, when my dad was a cop, this, w this was back when cops actually worked for the government. He said folks would buy him coffee all the time, but I ain't seen it till now. So what can I do you for? Can I come in the alleyway and look around? Your client's is the chalk line? That's messed up, woman, but I respect it. Okay, but don't mess anything up. Not that anyone would likely notice because the, font, the forensics aren't coming back. This looks like a coat blanket from the old man who was trying to get back. Ah, bar tab receipt. As you shuffle through the bags, a printed receipt falls out beneath the folds of the blanket. It's a bar tab receipt for the Stream Sisters Union, dated two days ago, right around the coroner's reported time of death. The customer, Sam Watts. Sir, the server's name is listed as Coyote. Or Coti, I don't know. Attic, coat and blankets. The work light is new. You can see that all of the alley's normal lights have been ruined. Upon closer inspection, it seems they have all imploded. As if some force shattered them all at the same time. Amidst the glass shards from the broken lights, you find a small piece of glass which looks like the bottom of a test tube. There are two distinct sets of footprints, a human, a human's ending at the chalk outline, and a larger set. Okay, you're gonna let me re-examine that, please? Basically, a troll and a human walk through, a troll and humanoid feet walk through there. Hey there, youngin. I think this coat and blankets belong to you. My stuff, mighty decent of you. Don't see that kind of thing too often out here. Can't leave Amanda freeze. Not in my nature. But yeah, now we need to make a journey down to the Seamstresses Union. Which is pretty much going to be our base of operations for the rest of the game. Now I need a drink of soda. Yeah, I needed that. If I'm right, the seamstresses union is not too far from here. It's been a while, so it's going to take me a minute to find my way. That's a wrong place. Mighty easy to get lost in this game. Not really. There it is. It's up there. Nice sign, actually. Oh yeah, you can get a little extra information here. Maybe. What's it to you? I sell a lot of donuts to a lot of people. I know how Lone Star profiles metahumans. I tell them about a troll that bought donuts from me right before the murder. They'll haul him in just to see if anyone will pay the bail. Not today, my friend. Enjoy. Yeah, you can get a second one. I'm not really sure what that does. It's just another mission item. Yeah, you can talk to more people. I think you get karma for doing it. It's been a while. Standing up, packing up for the night. I'm closed. Come back tomorrow. You got a great view of the alleyway across the street. Don't suppose you saw the murder that happened there. She grunts. Sure. I was closing up when I heard a series of explosions from behind the Union. A couple of seconds later, the guy comes out running across the street. Didn't get a good look at him. Then all the lights in the alleyway explode all of a sudden. Things got plenty, pretty quiet after that. Hell no! Round, round here, that kind of thing gets you killed. Thank you for your time. Uh huh. No problem. All right, let's go. This is the best place to party. Go lay down. Get some coffee.
or soy cough, whatever you want to call it. Relevant to the rest of the to the bear the seamstress union, housed in an old store building on the corner of Legal and Opportunity. Bums huddle together, gangsters strut the streets, and occasional salarymen come, come slumming. The union's building has been re retrofitted and rebuilt and restored so many times that it looks like an aging starlet wearing too much makeup in an attempt to stay young. The wild ivy grows out of the gutters adds to this effect. As you enter, enter the murmur of hushed conversations watches over you. The dive bars denizens raise their heads to take your measure, and then go back to their business. This is the kind of place where everyone knows your name, but keeps to themselves. I love the descriptions of the areas. They feel so, so organic. Vote for a goat? The sinless are free. Of course we are. The bartender is a st is a striking elf spotted sporting a perfectly toned body, perfectly pouty lips, and perfectly tapered ears. Her eyes harm harmonize, save me, and take me in equal measure. Hitting just the right notes for maximum extraction of tips. Hey there, haven't seen you here before. What can I get what can I get you? Something dirty in a clean glass. How about a date? From the looks of this place I can probably get anything I want. I found a bar tab with Coyote's name on it. She here? She looks worried, no. I think she's away on business. Business? Is she a shaman what, with a name like Coyote? She laughs, no. She shot a coyote once, thinking it was a shaman who double-crossed her. We've been calling her Coyote ever since. She's been missing since yesterday. Some people think the Ripper got her, but I know her. Coyote can take care of herself. She starts to turn away with a man... When a man with a face of a survivor and zeal of a converted tug at her arm hard it it's clear the two have a history they try to keep their voices low but intensity of the conversation makes them easy to overhear cherry you have to listen to me if you stick around here you could end up dead or worse the ripper is out there and he's real the last thing that happened down the block just down the block, and now Coyote's missing. They'll probably find her tomorrow in a dumpster without a head, without her head. Come on, Cherry Bomb, think. I think plenty, Shane. I'm getting a PH freaking D from the UW, UW in Naturoponic Study under Amaje, or however you say that, Amajamets. I don't know. I, I, I can't pronounce things. And how am I paying for it? Bartending tips. There are faster ways for Baron's girls to earn that kind. There are faster ways for Baron's girls to earn that kind of scratch, but I'm not taking them. So what do you want from me? I want. What I. What. I I want what you want. A better life, a better world for everyone. The Universal Brotherhood can give you that. I've heard this all before. This isn't some trick to get us back together. Things are different now. I'm different now. The Brotherhood. Cherry Bomb's pretty f face is hard, armored, and lipstick and low expre expectations. The Universal Brotherhood is other is for other people, Shane. Rich believer types who can afford their membership fees and voluntary donations. This isn't about money. It's about bringing the world together in Brotherhood. Come with me. Attend a discovery meeting to get to the core of what you are, of who you are. I heard Leslie Trinstein give a talk last night called The New Family of the Sixth World. Is this Scientology or some shit? 
I feel like the game is playfully jabbing and not so playfully jabbing at Scientology right now. Which I can appreciate. I've got a family right here, Shane. They're drunks and lowlifes and whores, and I choose them over any any of your Brotherhood members. Now, Buzz, I need to get back to work. With body language that leaves no question that the conversation is over, Cherry Bomb turns her back on him. Sorry, I got interrupted. I heard he's got the strength of a righteous, doesn't he? Boyfriend find religion? Sorry, you have to go through that. Sounds like you've got big plans for yourself. Her eyes soften. Yeah, I do. Can't stay here forever. You've got a look that says you're not just here for entertainment. You got a badge? She regards you with a smirk. Hmm. Mm hmm. I do. You're independent. We're trained to spot a, bron a bronze the minute they walk in. Something I can help you with. Okay, this is where it goes into more dialogue. So, I'm just gonna let the video end here rather than go into another 15 minute session. So, See y'all here next time. I'm Fuzen Kimakudin.